Right, I'm just doing a uh, quick review. I'm in Ghent. I'm staying at the Ibis in Ghent, and I wanted to get you give you some idea of what you get for £100 a night in the Ibis in uh, Ghent. Now, bear in mind, uh, the Ibis Hotel was about half the price of the Marriott, which is down the road. It's a budget hotel, so I wasn't expecting much. Um, now, the, the power runs off the old key card slot, but it doesn't affect the air conditioning. So the air conditioning will stay on even if the card's not in. So you get a bathroom, which is quite tight. You get some complimentary um, liquid soap. Um, the sink doesn't work all that well. It's one of these plunger things and you do sort of lose the water and the door's very tight as well. I don't know if you can see, but um, if you're a fatty, you've got to sort of walk in You've got to sort of walk in and then walk into the shower to access the toilet because there's not enough room in here sort of thing. Um, you get a shower. The shower's all right. Um, again, you get some uh, conditioner and some complimentary soap. My mates have been complaining about the shower lip here. What they reckon is that they've both slipped on there um, and it's very slippy and they both nearly killed themselves. So bear, bear that in mind. Um, the room's quite small. Um, you get a bit of a wardrobe sort of thing. It's one of them open wardrobes. Uh, you get a hair dryer. You get a shower cap. Uh, a bit of hanging space. Uh, a suitcase stand. So it's not too bad. Um, that's the air conditioning control on there. Um, and that is the room. To give you an idea of the room, it's a sort. I know it's sorry, it's so untidy, but I'm just checking out this morning. Um, the only other issue is what I found was the uh, the bed has got a mattress topper on, as you can see. And what tends to happen is, over the course of the night, the mattress topper slides off. So I, I've put it put it back on yesterday morning, and um, during the night, look. It slid off. Everything on the bed just seems to slide off. Um, and I didn't get an awfully good uh, night's sleep. Um, power, there's a socket, there's a sort of a European socket and a USB. So if you've got a USB, just bring a uh, charging lead and you need to bring a charger. I've, I've got um, uh, a, pick, a Nokia Pixel phone. I brought my charger and it wouldn't charge the power because the power is um, European. I couldn't get my phone to charge, so it, it's been on low power, all holiday sort of thing. Um, other than that, you get TV. The TV, there is uh, two, well, there's three English channels, four English channels. There's BBC One, BBC Two, BBC World, and then there's a couple of film channels like, I think it's uh, great movies or whatever. Um, I don't know if they're Paramount things, but there's a couple of film channels um, showing sort of modern films and Second World War war films. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. To give you, to give you an idea of what it's like, this is the, um, the Ibis Hotel in Ghent. I, like I said, I don't think it's too bad value for money. Uh, £100 a night. Ghent is quite expensive. Um, oh, the only other issue is, well, is breakfast, you know. Um, we brought, I brought a kettle uh, and then UHT milk sticks. Um, there's no scope for getting English tea. Nobody's doing English tea. Again, breakfast, um, you can't get an English breakfast anywhere. So you can't get English tea, you can't get English breakfast. It's all continental, cheese, jam, ham, bread. That is really all you can get. Uh, we've searched high and low. There is a McDonald's um, down the road, but the McDonald's, uh, because the festival's on and it's really busy, isn't opening until 10 o'clock. So the earliest you could go in there and get yourself a, a bacon and egg muffin would be 10 o'clock. You can't get it any earlier than that. Um, but apart from that, you know, I'd say that um, the Gent's all right. It's friendly. Um, everybody's speaking English. Um, the beers aren't too bad you're talking maybe uh three euros three and a half year, euros for a small beer there's loads of bars um as i say you know we're, we're here for this uh, festival this uh, ghent festival and it's really busy there seems to be like a, like a million people on the street and bands playing and dj sets 
and say a bit of a fairground. Um, so if you, you're coming for that, I would say you know it's well worth it. Um, you know we didn't see any trouble. There's nobody trying to sell you any ju- uh, drugs. Everybody was really friendly. Um, so yeah, I, to be honest, I can't recommend Ghent enough. If you want to come to Belgium, you know come to Ghent. Um, we also had a day trip. We've been to Ostend for the day on the train, and we've been to Brussels for the day on the train. Uh, again, it was pretty easy. The trains, a train to uh, Brussels from Ghent is about ten euros, and I think it, I think a train to Ostend was about the same. It was about ten euros. Um, you can buy the in in uh, Ghent. There is like a tram system going round, and if you go to the main um, sort of railway station, you can buy. Uh, I think we got a three day pass. So you can get a three-day pass, which is 15 euros, and you can ride the uh, trams or the buses as much as you like, which is quite handy. Uh, we've had one or two taxis. Um, they're not been expensive, um, but I would recommend that you get the, uh, the you know, the, the three-day pass if you need it sort of thing. Uh, so that's all I'm doing for now. Okay, cheers. Bye.